good what's good what's good what's good i'm mashi waram pasele and welcome to my campus talk now this is your first ever social political economical current affairs call it everything show we will be dealing and talking about issues that affect us directly in and indirectly. I'm here with my co-host, Lishawa Nolo, who's also a political analyst in-house. Guys, Lishawa Nolo, how are you doing? Mel, I may show you. It's popping. Yeah, Now, this week we're talking DA. Uh, last week they launched their one DA for all, one SA for all campaign, claiming Hore we should be one nation. But we are one nation. We are not one nation unless we get the land bank, I think. I think the notion of our uh, Rambo Nation died in Mandela. I think it's time now we focus on real issues. I think now is the time we talk weed, we talk the land. I think one Rambo Nation, you can talk about the issue of Mandela. Why can we not now have leaders by Lomare? Bar leader to, to, to the right direction or we should talk about the land? But, but then the show, I think about it, right? Is it, are you, are you saying or we cannot talk about land expropriation and nation building at the same time? Or we, we have to now focus on one main issue, then we'll deal with another issue, and then we'll deal with another issue? Of course issue. you can do that. I'm just saying we're a DA, we're a senior, we're a senior, we're a senior, we're a senior, we want to talk about land. We, we are talking about land, we but we are be, talking about it. I don't think we, 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 cannot be, we, we cannot be one nation in rational efforts. But then what's the point of having the land and not having a nation to inhibit that land? I think firstly, area rate distributed funds equally, then we are equal before the law, we are equal to each other. So how can we relate to each other as family or as people from the same nation, from the same country, from the same neighborhoods? Okay. Obviously, you're not the land. Okay, let's no, no. And then answer me this, right? Answer me this. Yeah. Land expropriation without compensation is a process that's going to take a period of time, yeah. right? I said something that we can maybe fix in two, three, four years. It, it's going to take time. It's but long then, overdue. It, it's long overdue, yes, but the nation building is something that can have your smaller and projects and takes lesser time. And like you said, how can we be one happy family without the land? Mara, don't they say or as a family, when we work as a family, we can get through anything. So if we do come together as a family and we do iron out those racial issues we have amongst ourselves, land expropriation is going to become easier because like us no disappear and have no your black. That's why you if the DA this, takes white, power, if the DA this. takes power, we won't even have land expropriation. Say who? Because I can really disagree with it, even in Parliament, but reject the lack of the 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 motions that expropriated. Okay, and but so this talk here, rainbow nation, is basically to make us blind. Or you know what? We are all happy. Mar, kadi kaharier kuninza rona hona no wambala bilengo hona no wambala hamunat. Mar haria ko strate mu ya all rainbow nation di retabit. Well, so it doesn't actually make sense. I think okay, it's just the politics that election since the place are apparently somewhere between May next year, uh, somewhere in May next year. So ke hype fella. And I don't do you think uh, South Africans actually believe these things? Look, we had a poll last week where we asked um, people on Twitter if they believe the hashtag one is a for all campaign it go very yeah. And fifty one percent well a percentage in the fifty say they, they don't think so. So we will be writing another poll asking the same question. Do you think hashtag one is a for all is good for all South Africa? If get another rainbow nation project or if it's a waste of time? Well, last month we know Cyril Ramaphosa, our president, introduced uh, this thing, uh, uh, this package, uh, revive the economy. And we know uh, some agencies, economic ag agencies, by the tech chile that they bury. Basically, there is no strategy there. Cyril Ramaphosa arrived on 50 billion. I redirected to, to the local government. We know I don't understand the strategy of yeah. In the first instance, that 50 billion was supposed to be doing exactly what he wants to so, eat. So I don't understand what game is Cyril playing. So the, this, this strategy, yeah, 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 Cyril, can you like explain it to us Niana, so we can get the gist of it? Because all we know now, got 50 billion has to be re like, redirected to local yeah. municipalities. But at the same time, We've been seeing more that our local municipalities are in debt and they're wasting money. Yeah. So, what guarantee do we have? Like, what does his strategy guarantee if 
well, this time around, well, local municipalities will Personally, now I think of Sir Alex Ramaphosa is just the one lazy person. He's lazy to think. I mean, how can you say I have a strategy? We have a stimulus package. Yeah. How do revive the economy? How do you revive the economy on any budget? Worry. This is the budget in a replenit. I got our water for an hour. We are not. We are no longer going to use this budget for this marine state of place. We just for this. But I think this also goes back to the land question. How can we revive the economy when we don't really benefit much from the economy? Now we are the land. The more packaging is high. Like it doesn't really make sense. Are we want to expropriate land without compensation in a way of a high affect the economy, high affect agriculture. You can go to agricultural studies. There is no. Uh, our agricultural economy is not even that strong. When we expropriate land without compensation, yeah. there will be much damage. Okay, so here's now my question again. Are you saying about a different political organizations about support our land expropriation without compensation are going about it in different ways? Or is someone to expropriate the land for black people to benefit and someone to expropriate the land for the government? To benefit or someone to expropriate it so then people got their personal capacities can then sell the land to whoever can give them money like well actually i don't think or a <laughs> okay i agree the eff i think or a, when you expropriate land it should be in the hands of the government because of the reasons that somebody mentioned you know bizarre people are going to sell off the land and the little back to square one up okay here's my with, question now with this issue here's my question now at one point Kore, why should South Africans, especially the South African youth, why should we trust government when we look through history, the government has never really done anything This is exactly us. why. Wait. This is exactly Wait. why. Wait. Apartheid government took the land away from us, yeah. right? South African government, we became free politically and socially, but economically we did not become free. So before before we entrust any organization, Katavayaori, okay, we trust you guys to run us. What measures can we implement as society to keep them accountable? Or if you guys promise us economic emancipation, we will get economic emancipation. Not about, okay, the government will control it. When I benefit from the services, how, how will I benefit personally if... if this, is, this is exactly why we need to change government. Because people since 1994 have been breaking the law, the, simp the law to the core, each and every... Core, even the constitutional court had to correct the, the president. Just imagine a president of a country according to a key, to the, to the constitutional court. The constitutional court a correct a parliament. That shows you there is no rule of law. So this is exactly why you have to change the government. Put in a government a respect on the laws of the country. Okay, here, here, here's what I can say, Arif yeah. we, we can't say or a, the rule or the law is at fault because the Constitutional Court has been doing its job. Mogweng Mogweng is doing good. Legislature, yeah, not executive, they're confused. Because now you find legislature doing executive's oh, job. Positive. Yeah, but they, they, they're the ones who are confused. So my question is, do, we, do they clean up their acts before we put people in place? Or do we put people in place who will clean it up and... Uh, can we trust them? I think or, the, it's up to the voters. The voters, let me leave one of our ring, you know what, Rinsa Ravishi Gaofela, next year, our vote. Gaofela nonsense, yeah, so our Kenya people, we think or we can trust. Leave one if they come there and do rubbish, and put on a batuwa bangu, we can trust. trust. Okay. I think that's how democracy works, in basically. So that's how democracy works, and we all know what South Africa is a democratic country, so which means we all have access to similar spaces like draws. Um, you guys probably heard uh, the incident that happened, Modros, you heard about it. Yeah. What's your view on it? A 21 year old white man, a raper, a 6 year old black girl. Do you think well, it's fair for us to go a 21 year old white man raping a 6 year old black girl or a 21 year old guy raped a 6 year old girl? I don't really not care if he's white or black. If you are rapist, they are rapist. Yeah. And if you have to be labeled as a white black guy, I mean, sorry, a white, a white, twenty-one-year-old guy, yeah, yeah. then be labeled as such. If you have to be labeled as a black, twenty-year-old guy, be labeled as such. A rapist is a rapist. To a rapist is a rapist, but then what do we say to to those Baba Mutifendang saying statements like, no, he's a, he's he's not in our nature to to rape black know. girls, I, I, you know? When how do you see it? Now nah, I don't understand or how how it even makes sense or a. Rape is is is, is a culture of other other people, uh, like 
how does it make sense? So I don't think it's even a, a debate worth no. entertaining. How do you think, because I don't understand it. No, no, rape is rape and it, it is a crime. Yeah. And for, for, for some who would try, I, I don't know who would actually try to use this argument, but she, she was a child. How do you have six. the audacity? and rape them in a public place. It's, it's okay. I think it's, it's just sick. Whether that person is white or black, it doesn't matter. Sickness is sickness, rape is rape. No, no, let's, let's not call it a sickness. Not sickness in terms of mental health. Yeah, yeah, mental I mean, health. Like sickness in terms of being uh, evil. Yeah, it's, it's evil. It, we should not call it a sickness because then yeah. um, some people claiming mental breakdown, it's... it's Oof. There's no such thing. Rape is a rape. Whether you are sick, you are not sick. When you rape a child, you rape a child. It's sad. Man. It, it is. And yeah. more on the sad news, South Africa has lost one of its own, an amazing, talented woman. Shoki yeah. Mohaba unfortunately passed got Tuesday, previous Tuesday. And her management team has reported that she suffered from um, clinical depression. May her soul rest in peace. May her soul rest in peace and in power. So lately, we've been hearing the case where uh, people take their lives because they've been suffering a mental illness. Yeah. Um, what, what's your take on that? I think when it said, I mean, we saw it in and I think it was last month or last week or two weeks back, we saw it in Parliament with that guy, Ipule I think we should have, uh, even in school, introduce uh, programs that did it in mental health. I mean, I think it's said, okay, even in schools, there are some topics that are going to on. But do you think what South Africa is at a point where mental illness, do we have policies or structures or implementations that we can help or we can go get help get by mental illness? I mean, or it goes back to question, do we have to focus on one thing at a time? Or is building one is a for all, getting land back and technical research and are those more forefront of the South African battle that things like mental illness are seen as ah, the one I don't think we can ever say we want to focus on one thing at a time. I think there's a lot of stuff say it's along. We should focus on each and everything um, it's along. Pay fair attention that it deserves. Can we afford for pay yeah, attention to every single thing? We can. I mean Parliament sits uh, a lot of times. I mean we can discuss those things. We have NGOs there's a lot of structures that are going to the question is, are we using those structures to deal with these issues? With issues. And the, yeah. question, the other question is, do people know about those structures or are those structures getting um, government help? For instance, say when it is structure, right? Yeah. A non-profit organization, yeah, it's quite successful on its own. And do you think it's fair for the government to go, no, but you guys are doing the job. You don't need our help. I mean, I think the government Leon, has become quite uh, useless. We saw it uh, like a city man know how they they killed basically was it over 100 people yeah. or something i mean i think that the ngos kids on it is are most of the work in government honestly i have no confidence basically but, um, what you're saying is we need to take those people get the ngo and put them in parliament because they do they getting the job done maybe you should do that because most of the work i think it's evident or give or another push most of the work without even funding sometimes I think the government in jail is just, you know, lazing around. But like, it's like, it's like, it's like. Okay, there you have it, guys. But that's what government is like. Um, probably, but like South Africans, because as South Africans, we have a die-hard spirit. Yeah. Take care of yourself, do good, and remember, this is my campus talk, and this is our political analyst in-house, Lesha Ronolo. At my campus TV on Twitter, at my campus TV on Instagram, and subscribe on our page. You'll see flames. And we do have polls running now and then. Engage with them and let's have fun. <laughs>